what is the most important tool when it comes to photography and video? That is a question that I asked myself about four or five years ago, and I'm still working out the answer in theory, or I mean, it, I guess it's fact at this point, but it's just still something I'm trying to understand. So then once I fully understand it, then I'll actually, you know, really know how to use it and that understanding come with experience. But that thing that most of that important thing is light, understanding light, understanding how to shape it, how to use it, how to manipulate it is very important when it comes to photography and video. If you don't have enough of it, which you really can't have too much of it. And if you do have too much of it, there's a way to modify the camera in order to make sure that you get the image you're looking for. So the more you have, the better. If you don't have enough, then you have to use the tools in the camera to create artificial light. And that artificial light introduces digital noise. Most cameras have a ISO range or a threshold or a minimum ISO that dictates the quality of the image or the amount of grain or the amount of noise that is introduced in the image when you increase the ISO. On this journey of creating this video test using the Fujifilm X-H1, I ran into an issue where there was some grain or some noise on this whiteboard back here. What I've been trying to do for the past two videos now, it was video four, which was where I pointed out the grain and video five where I try to reduce it or I'm getting it mixed up. Video four is when I looked at it and tried to reduce it. Video five is where I tried to understand it by looking at the ISO levels. And now we're in video six and we're really looking at the ISO range, which I only stick to ISO range 800 to 3200 when using a Fujifilm X-H1 while looking at this ISO range. I noticed something interesting. And what I found interesting is that an ISO that I've been using this entire time throughout this entire series, which is ISO 1600, is within an interesting range. Now let's take a look at the range so I can show you what I mean. So if we look at ISO 1800, ISO 1800, it's pretty clean. You can see that there's something on the image, like in these, there's some specs here. And what I mean is when you look at ISO 1000, the, they're still there. You know, for a minute, I thought it was like the screen or when I was covering the lens, there was something that I, you know, on the lens or something. But when I looked at, when I go up to ISO 12, 1250, those specs go away. And it, I believe there's one right here at the bottom left of the screen there. I mean, it, it shifted. So I was just thinking like, okay, I needed to clean the lens. There's something there. But when you shift from 800 up to 1250, the specs go away. The next ISO level is ISO 1600. And when we go here, there's a lot of noise introduced into the image. So I'll play this through here and we'll see 800, 1000, 1250, 1600. And when we get up to 2000, there's definitely a lot more noise introduced into the image. And 2500 is definitely not usable at all whatsoever. I mean, you can use it if you need it, but you'll need a lot of noise reduction, which we'll talk about noise reduction in the next video and to see how much of this we can clean up. And now let's go up to 3,200 and going up to 3,200, it completely goes away. ISO 3,200 looks close to ISO 1,250. It looks exactly the same. So I want to jump in here just for a second and talk to you about a LUT pack that I'm creating specifically for F-Log. And with this LUT pack, it's going to cover an entire range of exposure. And that's basically basing your exposure off of your exposure meter in your camera, ranging from two stops overexposed and two stops underexposed. And this is just to help. So when you are in those situations, when you aren't able to hit a specific exposure, even when you're underexposed, to have something you can easily use to get to middle exposure so when you start to color grade your footage there's less work you have to do on the front end but you can check out the links to the LUTs I've already created down in the description all right let's get back to it but based off of what I found I know that ISO 800 ISO 1000 ISO 1250 and ISO 3200 are the basis or the ISOs that I would like to use when exposing that my footage when I'm using this camera in a space 
or just in general. Right now I'm filming an ISO 3200 or 3200 and I'm gonna grade it down and I'm gonna see how it looks. But you'll see that in the next video where I'll be talking about noise reduction and if it can help clean up some of what we saw in ISO, what is it? 1600, 2000 and 2500. So we'll take a look at those in the next video. Thanks for joining while staying awesome. Stay awesome.